In this video, I will be looking at SQL. I'm currently using a website called w3schools.com, which has a great database simulator within it. I'll put a link to that database within the comments so you can try it out yourself. It's a great way to learn database and SQL commands. So let's give you a quick little tour of the website page to make you familiar when you come to practice some of the exercises. So here are our tables within the database. So at the moment, I'm looking at the customer database table, which has 91 records. And there are these fields within the table. Customer name, customer ID, all the way through to country. And if I just scroll up the screen, you can see many of the records within the table. So now let's look at this very basic command. Select asterisk from customers. The asterisk means, or select star, means give me all of the fields from the table customers. So this is the table customers. This is all of the fields stored. So when I click run, this is what I will see, a return of all records and all fields. So that is a nice basic SQL command that the website puts up when you first follow the link. So now we're going to take three or four exam style questions and going to formulate the answer in SQL and you'll be able to run that SQL and see the output. So now let's look at five questions that have come from exam papers in the past. This is the link to the great website that I use for the SQL commands. Uh, w3schools.com, great website, great way to practice your SQL commands. Credit where credit's due there. Again, I'll put this in the comments. So the first one says, write an SQL command to show all the fields from the employees table. So now let's look at what that would look like when we run it in the SQL website. Let's look at question number one in the W3 Schools website. So we type in our command, select asterisk from employees. So employees is the table here, look, has 10 records. So what we're seeing here is select asterisk, which means I would like all of the fields returning from the table employees. Remember, this is case sensitive. So I'll click the run command and you will see that I've already got the output window open with all of the fields from the employee table, employee ID through to notes. If I just scroll up, you will see the output of the 10 records in the SQL command. So that's the first SQL command. Remember, asterisk means all fields. So now let's look at question number two. Write an SQL command to show customer name and contact name from the customers table. So now let's look at question number two. Select customer name and contact name as fields. Notice how they are separated with a comma. Do not use the word and. It's a common mistake in exam questions. From the customers table. So I've already run this command so we can see all 91 records pertaining to customers. We can see up here, customers has 91 records. So now let's look at question number three. 
write an SQL command to show all the fields from the customers table that their city is London. Question number three, select star, which means all of the fields from the table. From the customers table, remember, it's case sensitive, it's got to match exactly what it says in the database, where city equals London. So we can see city here. I've already run the command so you can actually see the output. Now, as SQL gets more complicated, I find it far easier to, to split these three keywords onto three separate lines. I like my select command on one line, my from command on another, and my where command on another again. It makes it so much simpler. You could write it in one big line, it'll be perfectly fine, it'll run, but you're less likely to see if there's something missing. So we can see we've got six records that are from customers coming from London, from the customers table, which has 91 records. Write an SQL command to show the fields customer name, contact name, and city from the customers table that their city is London, show the results in contact name, sending order. So we've got our command in, select customer name, contact name, and city. Don't forget that fields should be separated with a comma. From the customers table, now the selection criteria is where city is equal to London. Now we've got this extra command in here, order by contact name ASC for ascending. Now I've deliberately left this as one big line to show you how complex it can get. So if I now split this into three separate lines, you can see very easy that this is the programmer selecting the fields, the table, and the selection criteria with the order by criteria. We can see our results look. So we've chose our three fields, name, con customer name, sorry, contact name, and city from our customers table where the city is London. So these customers are all from London and we've sorted it in contact name order. which is this middle column here. Question number five. Write an SQL command to show all the fields from the customers table that are from London and postcode starts with a W. Show the results in customer name order. So let's have a look at the SQL command in action. So question five, let's have a look at its structure. Select star means all of the fields from the customers table, don't forget it's case sensitive, where the city matches London. And so we've got an extra criteria here, the postal code, and we have this command like, and then we have W, then followed by a percentage symbol. That means if the string starts with the W, all characters beyond to the right of the W will be ignored. And we're going to order it by customer name. So let's first of all look at our fields. We've got all of our fields coming back from the table from the customers table where it's matched against London and their postcode must start with the W. So you can see here that each postcode started with the W and what this percentage symbol tells us to do is to ignore any characters after the W. So you can see that this command has worked and again it's in customer name order so 
get the right field, customer name, and this is in sorted in the right order from London from the postcode starting with a W.